morning folks saturday 6th of february 2021 time just flies i don't know whether it's because i'm getting older or what but it just seems to fly and you know it was christmas time and all of a sudden we're into february uh still a bit chilly here in the mornings not after about 10 o'clock 10 o'clock sort of starts to warm up a bit but right now i kind of regretting not having a another t-shirt on or something uh just having a wander through the orchard we've been bagging bagging the mangoes it's what we do for the ones that will be yellow mangoes there's two uh see tong which is the gold mango and uh bursi which is it's yellow mango i mean you can argue the case whether it's gold or not but they're slightly different versions uh, these mangoes start off pretty small we don't bag them at that stage um I'm not too sure. We've been through here this week and there may not be any uh, right size to... Oh, here's one that's almost the right size to bag. We normally use two fingers to measure. It's just not quite big enough. We'll come through again in a week and bag some more. We've done about, about 6,000. I don't know what the season's going to be like. It's this COVID thing and there's still problems with the border. Um, yeah, another type of mango is the green mango. Uh, we've got Pepala and uh, Falun. I can't see a Falun tree here. They're sort of mixed in. What we've done with this tree and many, many others is have a guy that comes around and does the job. He grafts other mangoes onto old trees. So we've got gold mangoes in these bags here. Nice one. Should be bagged. Should have been bagged this week. Uh, yeah, so... They're grafted on the gold mangoes. Let's see, tong, tong in uh, Thai is gold. So when we go to the tong shop, <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. They don't call it tong shop. Uh, it's a gold shop. Um, yeah, uh, one of these days I'm going to do a, a video on English sounding words in Thai. Sometimes it's a bit weird. Just one which we're talking about yesterday is dentine. That's your local dentist. <laughs> yeah, so we got uh, we got a lot of more bagging to do. I don't know why this one. No, that's uh, Balun. Let's see the slightly different shape. The other the other Bursi mangoes are more rounded, but they're eaten green. They can be chopped up and put into uh, various meals uh the most common one in thailand would be uh that horrible rubbish they eat which is so spicy i can't even smell it oh, i can't think of the name of it uh, it's just uh, uh, some things here they eat with so much chili in it it's just even the smell makes me feel a bit crook Makes my eyes water if Tick, my wife, is eating next to me. Oh, the other thing I should mention with the bags, um, first off, we we did the green tags. So the, all the bags that went first, and then that was about three, three and a half weeks ago. Uh, the no-tag bags were just finished, and red tag bags will be the next bag, and I'm not too sure what she's going to pick after that. It's got a little bit of a system going. I don't know if it's pretty common. Uh, I don't know why they weren't bagged. I have to talk to Tick. She's getting a bit slack, I think. Yeah. Uh, one little problem we have, as you can see, 
the little bits that are growing next to the mango. Sometimes they mark it. If we don't get them in the bags early enough, I just broke that one. If we don't get them in the bags early enough. Um, they leave marks, and that one may have uh, another problem. Oh, there it is. It could be anthracnose. I don't think that's a rub mark. That's a rub mark over there. Yeah. I got a new Vivo phone. I'm not quite used to it yet. Yeah. Anyway, I better get back to the job at hand. It's about 6.30. I'm over here in the uh, region of the dam. We've had two waterings. First watering, the dam water went down about a metre. I don't know if you can see it there, but there's like a, a line where there's a bit of erosion with the dirt on that side of the dam. The water was up to there. Um, and then for some reason, I guess it's underground water, you know, sort of come back into the dam. I guess it's the only reason. Seemingly we haven't had rain for three and a half months. Um, yeah, so the second time the water went down and then it kind of came back up a little bit. I thought, hmm... Yeah, that's a good thing because we've got a lot of fish in there. <laughs> and it's time for them to have their breakfast. And I better get on with it and stop talking. All right then, folks. Everyone have a good uh, good day, good week, good life, whatever. And that's it from me, John in Thailand. Bye-bye.